All right, so I got the alternator installed in the car yesterday. I'll show you real quick what the wiring looks like and what each wire does. And then I'll show you a quick little demonstration of how the alternator goes through its charge cycle and then settles in at like 14.0, 13.9. And I'll probably show you guys the Megasquirt software side too. All right, so here's the alternator side. So 6G Ford alternator. Uh, they normally don't come with V-belt pulleys. I had to knock off a little bit of the casting on the front. Uh, to get the pulley to suck in far enough for enough shaft to stick out for the nut to go on but I was able to get that figured out um, so you have your power wire goes into the green deal I also clocked the back of the alternator around 180 degrees or actually 60 degrees this used to point down over there somewhere so I was able to clock that around put a new voltage regulator in there so I have these labeled this yellow wire is the on off uh, the white wire is PWM in, so this comes in from the Mega Squirt box. It's just kind of like thrown over the motor at the moment, but uh, you end up with a 125 hertz signal. Uh, and then the duty cycle, you vary the duty cycle, which really the controller is just looking at the pulse width. And uh, the wider the pulse width, the higher the voltage, the narrow the pulse width, the lower the voltage. And then I was just playing with this guy, PWM out. Uh, I did a 12 or a, a 12 volt pull up with a 1k resistor from here to here to the power and then I measured the voltage across here so the idea is as the alternator is drawing more current I believe that value will go higher and as it draws less current will go lower from what I understand the output is inverted from what you would normally expect but um, I might fuss with this down the road it's just n nerd data nobody really needs to know how hard the alternator is really trying to work all right, so here we are on Tuner Studio. Um, I'm gonna show you guys. So top left, alternator control. Oh, there it goes. So we're doing, uh, let's see here. So we're doing open loop duty. Uh, out D15. Uh, it's inverted control frequency is 100 hertz. Um, startup delay, so a third of a second, two second ramp up, start charging at 14.5 for a minute, and then we ramp down to 14.0, and then you have some other little settings here. So this curve here is your actual duty cycle per voltage, right? So I found some more documentation. I was going to double check these numbers, but really what you do is you fire it up, you fire the car up, you set these values here, and then when that ramps the voltage to that, you come over here and you move these bubbles up and down slightly to get it to where you want. So I had an issue where, there we go, so I had an issue where I was a little short, so I'm gonna just going to add one, maybe two to that. And then what we're going to do is hit burn, and then close, and then, so let me go ahead and unplug this. Oh, in the car, we have our touchscreen display, so we can see data coming in. Turn the key on. All right, so we got battery volts top right. Let's see if I can get that to zoom in better. There we go. So we should see it right up to 145, 146. There we go. Alright, so it shows that we're at 52% duty cycle. Showing 146. We're a little high, but we could go back in. here we can take out a little bit take out one number and see if it changed it might not change oh but here it goes so now it ramped it down we've been running for a minute so now we should be at 14.0 14.1 
right, so ideally, um, I want to build my own battery using some lithium ion, lithium ion cells. I found some uh, flat pack style instead of the round cylinder style like the 18650s. Uh, they'll output uh, something like 30 or 40 amps each and there's like seven of them stacked in parallel so you can get several hundred like 300 amps of output from these and then they're all series to get you your voltage so I can run a 4 S battery pack which nominally is like 15 and a half volts charge would be up in the 16 range so in theory with this setup I could command a higher voltage up to like 16 volts out the Ford alternator and I could run that battery uh, once I get it all pieced together so that should be here in a week or more and then I gotta go through and test them make sure all the cells are still good and then repackage it something that I can actually put in the car so then from there I can I can monkey with the voltage output and I can run like a, a DIY 16 volt system that um, will give me a higher capacity out of the fuel pump a little bit less injector duty because the injector opening and dead time would be smaller so make the injectors feel a little bit larger same with the fuel pump uh, might be able to run E85 through it without running out of pump and injector so that's kind of the idea so far thanks